Summer days, I still remember your name. Summer days, sweet fragrance just smells the same. Make better days, this for next. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited. My package finally came FedEx. Um, the Natasha Nona Bronze Collection. Woo, so happy. It kind of matches my hair. First of all, I love this hair color, by the way. Don't mind it. These curls are gonna come loose in a second. But anyway, the Bronze Collection. So I did get the face palette and the eyeshadow palette. I regret not getting the lip glosses. But I'm probably gonna... I, I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I'm probably gonna pick up one or two from Sephora at some point. But I really wanted to get the face palette and the eyeshadow palette because I didn't want them to sell out on me. So I did go ahead and get mine from Beautylish because the shipping I knew would have been faster, which it was. Because you know, right now Sephora is still getting their shipping back, you know, the way it was. So. As you can see, my base is already done because I know you guys are really just here just to see these products. So I went ahead and skipped that step and did it already off camera. So we're going to jump right in. And this is the face palette. This is the box of the face palette. And then we have the actual face palette here. So you have two cream. Um, you have a bounce cream glow, a, a bounce cream blush, and two, one super glow bronze and one super glow nude. So the top ones are cream, the bottom ones are matte. All four on my skin tone will be highlighters. The only one I probably can't use is this one here. And of course we'll do swatches in a second. But I don't see me being able to use that one. We're gonna try though. I was so excited for this when I saw it. Um, I have all of her face palettes like this. So I have this one, the tan one, and I have the bloom, the in bloom one. I love these. Um, they're great for on the go. I love the little packaging. And then we have the eyeshadow palette, which this is the box. And then we have the actual palette. So it does retail for 50, $65. I think this is $55. I will put a little sidebar on the side. When I saw pictures of this, when Tremu posted this on her Instagram, I fell out of my chair. I knew I was going to get it. Because I ordered of Beautylish, yes, I had to be up at 3 a.m. to get it. So I set an alarm for $2.50, and I ordered it from Beautylish at 3 o'clock in the morning. So this is the palette. Stunning. This palette speaks to me on so many levels. Um, so really quickly, we're going to jump into swatches. Of course, the formula is super creamy. Like, look at that. These two are the two powders. Love them. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with that. Alright, so now that we saw that, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit and we're going to jump into this eye look. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in just a smidge. So, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to do with myself. So, I'm first going to take the shade Suntan. And then after suntan, I'm going to dip into magma. So these two here. And I'm going to start start with those two as like my transition shades. I'm so excited. I forgot to prime my lids. So I'm just taking my Fenty primer. And I'm just going to prime my lids. Because I forgot. And now we're going into uh, suntan. This shade is really pretty. It looked a uh, it looks in the pan a lot lighter than what it's showing up on my skin, but I prefer how it's showing up on me than how it looks in the pan, so that's a win for me. This palette is so pretty. Like, oh my word. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this same shade, suntan, and run it along my lower lash line. Because I feel like that would be super pretty.
And then with another brush, I'm gonna go into that shade Magma, and I'm gonna run Magma directly into my crease just to deepen it up. And I'm also going to take Magma along the lower lash line as well. And I'm going to dip into the shade here, which is called Deep Dive. It looks like a really dark chocolate brown. I kind of feel like it might have a slight sheen to it, but I'm not sure. It's hard to tell just looking at it straight in the pan. I can't tell if it has like a slight sheen to it or not. Oh my word. Oh my word. No, it's a matte. It's like a satin. And I'm going to place it and I'm going to blend out the top. Oh my gosh, this side of my head. But I'm just going to run this. And I'm gonna take a smidge of deep dark and run it on the back portion of my lower lash line, just on the, just, just that bit of much, bit of much. Just right there. Make sure I connect it with the top. And then I'm gonna go back into Magma a little bit and just blend the edges out so it can look, you know, seamless. And then with my finger, I'm gonna go into the shade, who these shimmers. I'm gonna take a high degree, which is this one here, and I'm gonna place that like on the back half of my lid, which I feel like I should probably use a brush for this part and not my finger. So I'm gonna take high degree, dry brush. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, oh my gosh. And basically I'm gonna put that just, just on the center of my lid. And then with my finger, I'm going to go in with True Bronze, which is right here. And it's literally a True Bronze. Like, I'm going to take my pinky because I don't want to go too crazy. Oh, my gosh. It's like a crystal bronze. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to blend that into the shade high, high degree. This shade will probably do better wet, I feel. It's a little dry. It's so pretty, but just a little dry for me. So I'm going to get some on my brush. I'm going to wet it with some setting spray. Wet. I don't even think, I hope the camera is getting like how metallic this is. Insane. And we're gonna grab, oh my gosh. Yeah. This palette is giving me all the feels. Oh my gosh. So for my inner corner highlight, since this shade is literally screaming at me, like, please use me, 
I'm gonna first the first thing first I'm gonna take the shade beach which is right here it's called beach it's like a cream color I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow because I just had that brush in my oh here it is my brow needs some highlighting so I'm gonna take beach and highlight up underneath this brow honey and then I'm gonna go into the shade that's like screaming at me silk this shade is like calling me this shade right here like it's, it's screaming at me and pop that into my inner corner are you guys seeing that like that's insane and make sure I run it like up under here too. I just like the way that looks. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're gonna stop with the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead off camera and add liner and lashes, and we're gonna in a lipstick, just wrap up my face, and then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into the face palette. I'm just in love with this eye look already. Like it's so smoky and sultry and just ugh. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. So I just went ahead and add. I just like fluffed my hair out, and I added liner and lashes, a black line. A black eyeliner also on the lower lash side a lip this is mocha by color rain and of course no highlight so we're gonna have this face palettes I'm so excited so really quickly I want to compare the bronze cheek palette to the tan cheek palette so here's the tan one and here's the bronze one um I was worried about the shades being similar because for $55 I ain't really worth all that but they are quite different I don't want to drop it. Okay. The top is the bronze. The bottom is the tan. So it's not going to be a reflection. But the bronze one is a lot deeper. So, you know. Um, we're going to dip into this bronze face palette. I have a lot of dirty brushes, so I'm just gonna use like this this BH Cosmetics uh, foundation brush. <laughs> so we're gonna go into the creams. This one is, which is the Bounce Cream Glow. This is gonna probably be good for my eyes. It's like a pinky duochrome, as you saw. That's not gonna work for me. So I'm gonna kind of skip over that. I'm gonna use the Bounce Cream Blush, which of course would not be a blush for me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add this onto my nose highlight oh wow okay that hit okay and i'm also gonna add it to my cupid's bow okay and a little bit on the chin and a smidge on the forehead so I'm not going to go too crazy with this because it is really light. So as you can see, I already look kind of glowy. Then I'm going to take my regular highlighting brush, which is the Morphe M451. And I'm going to take the Super Nude Glow. I'm going to apply it to this cheek and apply the Super Glow Bronze to this cheek. So we're going to start with the Super Nude Glow. Super Glow Nude, sorry, which is a powder. And I'm really going to rub that in. Okay. Super bronze. It's like a really nice gold, like goldy bronze. I'm going to flip my brush over and go into the Super Glow Bronze, which I feel like this I'm going to love. Like... And this is that. Okay, so a super glow bronze, super glow nude. Um, if I had to pick which one, I would use both, both. <laughs> but 
Yeah, I like the Super Glow Bronze better. So I'm just gonna mix them. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Super Glow Bronze on top of that nude, just to make a match a little bit. And I'm also gonna add a little bit on here, and here, and here. It's a lot of highlight, I'm glowing. It's a lot of highlight, but I just feel like y'all, I feel so beautiful. Like, I feel like a sultry goddess right now. So this, you guys, is the finished look of everything. I absolutely love it. All right, everybody, so now I'm gonna get to some quick final thoughts. I have a lot of Natasha on the palettes. I have some of the $129 ones, some of the $65 ones. I even have some of the little $50 ones, and even a little $25 ones, the little the itty bitty minis. This hands down, out of all my Natasha on the palettes, this is my favorite. Like, absolute my absolute favorite of course actually this eye look is screaming to me of course the formula is bomb like bomb um this is my favorite palette that she has come out with to date um and i know it may sound weird to some people because it's a neutral palette but like these shimmers in here are crazy the mattes are buttery creamy blendable and they look so good against my skin tone this is my favorite natasha Denona palette and then as far as the face palette goes i really like it a lot I, like i said in the beginning i actually enjoy these um i enjoy them a lot so as far as this one goes i like it a lot I, i'm curious to see how that one looks on the eyes um, I will be reaching for this. The nude glow is okay, but I really like this super bronze in here. Even that cream, it add like a nice lightness to my face without looking ashy or just like it just didn't match. So I actually really enjoy this. Out of the two products, um, I will be reaching for both, but I really enjoy the eyeshadow palette above the two because as you guys know, I love eyeshadow anyway. Which I do have an eyeshadow haul coming up for you guys um, in the next couple of videos. I already filmed it, so it should be up in a couple of days. Um, and let me know what you guys think of this really cute, sultry look. I'm looking very full-ish, I feel, but I love it so, so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Mwah.